and the project plays a crucial role in restoring the Everglades. These projects are adding up and we're seeing the benefits uh, accumulating as a result. I witnessed those benefits up close when the Everglades Foundation took our crew on a tour of wetlands just north of Everglades National Park off Tamiami Trail east of Big Cypress. Life bouncing back where historic flows of water have now been restored. This was part of that historic river of grass that was connected from the southern rim of Lake Okeechobee. Over the past hundred years, humans have disrupted the natural flow, dredging and draining the Everglades to make room for development and agriculture, farmland that sucks up most of the lake water and sends deadly nutrient runoff into estuaries and waterways to the east and west, killing acres of seagrass and the marine life that depends on it. Dumping water from Lake Okeechobee to that estuary and to the Caloosahatchee, it's, it's like a, a kick in the gut for those estuaries. But now, thanks to the combined efforts of the Army Corps of Engineers, South Florida Water Management District, and many stakeholders, Florida is finally on the path to getting the water right. Bottom line, you get the water right, you get the resilience right. Everglades restoration is our first line of defense against saltwater intrusion, sea level rise, and restores balance to our challenged ecosystems.